Hey guys. Today we're gonna throw it back to the beginning days of my channel when I used to do these repot and chat videos where I would tell you stories from my life, my haunted house I lived in, as well as my scariest babysitting stories. So today we're going to do another one and I'm really excited about it. I don't know why I kind of stopped doing these, but today we're going to be talking about the one and only time I've experienced sleep paralysis. And then also just kind of another little random sleep thing that actually happened to me last night, which is really, really weird. Of course, I will be repotting plants. I'll be potting this domino peace lily right here into this larger terracotta pot. Um, it's going up quite a bit in size, but I think it'll be good for this plant. This plant has grown like wild. I need to start off, I guess, by depotting this little baby. Getting into the story, like I stated, I've only ever experienced sleep paralysis this one time. I didn't know that that was actually pretty normal. Most people actually just have it like once or twice in their lifetime. And I gotta say, anybody that has that frequently or even more than that once or twice, like I really, really feel for you. Wow, look at that root ball. The one time I did experience it was actually the first week we brought Kai home when he was a newborn. As you can imagine, Ryan and I were not sleeping very much. That probably was a big factor in why this happened in the first place. I was exhausted, could not get a good solid sleep. I have an L-shaped couch and across from one side of the couch, are my stairs to go down into the basement. At that time, we didn't have a baby gate set up, so you could just see straight down the stairs. Of course, we set up a baby gate now um, because, you know, Kai would be all over those stairs if we didn't. Ryan and I, we were taking like shifts in getting sleep. So this, this shift was Ryan's turn to sleep. So I'm sitting on the couch, I'm actually reclined, and I have him sitting there breastfeeding. Like I definitely had to have been sleeping at this point, but at any point, I don't recall being asleep, like even laying there holding the baby. I vividly remember laying there holding the baby. Everything was exactly how it was when I was awake, if that makes sense. I'm just kind of loosening up some of these roots. By the way, I didn't really mention that, but I'm not breaking them up too much, but just a little bit. I mean, so that they'll really push out and grow to the edges of the pot. Totally not necessary, it's just something I like to do. So, you know, I'm just sitting there, I guess I'm asleep, but I'm asleep, but I can see myself. I know I'm sitting on the couch. I know everything that's going on. At one point, I kind of dozed off. When I dozed off and then jolted awake, there was a woman standing at the base of my stairs. Literally, every time I think about her, I get chills in my spine. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it means I'm a little baby, but really, I'm not like a baby normally, but for some reason, when it comes to this, I'm a baby. <laughs> she makes me wanna cry. I jolt awake, and as I jolt awake, I see this woman standing at the base of my stairs, clear as day. She kind of just stood there and looked at me for a long time. I vividly remember trying trying to not look at her. I just had this really deep fear of her seeing me look at her. And right now I really couldn't tell you, she did have a face, but for some reason when I try to think back, like I can't imagine what her face was, but I do know her eyes were dark, like shadowy. That's the only feature on her face I can imagine. She did have dark hair. It was about this length, um, pretty thick and she was wearing a dress with two tones on it, but I couldn't tell you details because I was so scared to look at her. She moved very, very slowly. I mean, in, in this weird dream time, she moved really slowly. I don't know how much time this actually would have been like if I was awake. As she was going up the stairs, I do remember like closing my eyes and trying to like pretend it wasn't happening or remind myself that I was asleep and it wasn't actually real. But when I opened my eyes, like she was still there, she did actually make it to the top of the stairs. But when she got to the top few steps, she crouched down and started to crawl toward me. I wish I could remember more from it, but that really is all I can remember. Um, she never got to me, like she was never standing over me or anything because Ryan actually came down the hallway, turned on the hallway light at that point, and I like woke up or jolted out of whatever weird sleep thing that was. Thank God he woke up because I was so scared and I wanted nothing more than to scream, like <sighs> nothing more than to scream. I wish I could have called for him sooner because still to this day, I am terrified of her and and sometimes, I don't know, I'm someone that doesn't really have like 
different dreams every night. Like I don't even dream every night, but when I do, it's usually the same like three or four dreams. Even in those dreams, she will sometimes like find her way into them, which I don't know what that means. If any of you have experienced something like that, please let me know because I didn't know that my brain could just insert her into whatever dream. And like I said, I've had some of these dreams since I was like a kid. Like I can tell you from start to finish what happens in my regular dreams dreams that I have almost every night. Well, not almost every night, but if I have dreams, it's usually like 90% of the time, it's one of those three dreams that I've just always had. She'll just randomly be in the background on some of them. If people were to ask what my biggest fear is, I'm not really afraid of a lot of things, but 100% it's that bitch. She was so scary. And I wish, I wish I could just like pull a picture of her out of my brain and show it to you because I know, I know. Here's the crappy thing. Like, you know, when you have a scary dream and you're like terrified at night but then you wake up and you try to tell somebody about it and you're like oh this is actually really stupid that's how I feel right now about her and like I don't think Ryan fully gets it when I tell tell him about her being there but she just really sends chills down my spine um yeah I hate her wish she would leave me alone so that was my only sleep paralysis experience it was something it was life-changing because before that I had never felt fear like that Even when she shows up in some of my dreams, it's not, it's not the same. Like there is a difference when she's in my regular dreams and I'm sleeping versus when I was sleeping, but I like knew I was sleeping, but I couldn't make myself move or wake up. So you guys, if any of you have had experiences like that, I really would love to read through them. If you feel up to sharing, then please do. That's it. I wish there was more I could tell you. Onto what happened last night. So, Guess what? My babies both sleep through the night now. So I'm finally getting caught up on sleep. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell in my videos, but I do have so much more energy. I'm starting to feel like human again. If you've ever had sleep deprivation for literally, I'm not exaggerating, like Kai hasn't started sleeping through the night until now. Like he, it's weird. He has had night terrors pretty much since he could walk. He hasn't started sleeping through the night until just recently when he stopped having night terrors. Sometimes he still does like sleepwalk, but it's not a night terror. So I'm glad that that's ending, but now that that's ending and now that Rai, Rai Rai has started sleeping through the night, I'm actually getting like through the night, eight hours of sleep, which has been amazing for my mental health and my overall energy and like will to live. <laughs> okay, that's, that's kind of dramatic, but not really. Anybody that's had sleep deprivation knows how crappy you feel. I literally didn't sleep through the night in like for like almost three years now. But last night I woke up to a thud, like the sound of like, well, that didn't really work. The sound of like, ceramic hitting something hard it jolted me awake and what it really was i had for some reason in my sleep i had picked up my philodendron gloriosum that lives on the nightstand next to my bed the sound i had heard that woke me up was me dropping it wait did that make sense it dropped on the floor and spilled dirt and soil everywhere fortunately the plant is okay which i'm glad about because it's about to push out a new leaf and i'm feeling hopeful some of you may know i struggle with philodendron gloriosum but this one has actually done well for me oh my legs are asleep one sec okay we're better we're back um yeah, so that was really weird. I've never like really talked or sleepwalked. I don't even know what to consider that because I wasn't like walking, but I was sleep. I was sleep picking up my plant and I didn't even have a dream last night that I can remember. So why did I pick up my plant in my sleep? That's so weird. And then I kind of thought it was fake and that that was a dream itself. But when I woke up, like the plant was on the floor and the dirt was everywhere. And apparently I told, cause it woke Ryan up. Um, when Ryan woke up and asked what happened, I told him that I dropped my plant. So, and I don't even remember that part of it, which is so weird. Like what the heck? Why would I suddenly just do that? I mean, I do really like plants. Like I do, I really, really like them. This actually took longer than I thought to repot. It's kind of a big plant and it was very root bound. Let me know what other topics you'd like to talk about as I repot plants. I've got lots of plants that I'm finally having the energy to repot, that I'm feeling motivated to repot. So 
yeah, let's do some more of these, like the good old days. I'll be sure to link those first two videos I did. I did them like four or five years ago on my channel. I'll put a playlist with all of these in one place. So if you wanna go watch more of my little story time repot and chats, they will be in a playlist. But yes, if there are other topics you're interested in hearing about, I could tell you, I don't know if this is way too like, um, what's the word? Intimate. I could tell you about those recurring dreams I have. Um, any story times my, oh my gosh, I really wanna tell you about some of my worst experiences working retail. Oh, I have some terrible experiences because you know what? People are rude to retail employees. I'm pretty much an open book. I'm willing to share pretty much anything. So yeah, let's do some more of these. I think they're so fun and they really are something that I've kind of been doing since the beginning of my channel and I'm trying to get back to my roots. No pun intended there. You know, I want to feel like me again. Here is the Bathlophyllum Domino. It lives in my main bathroom, in mine and Ryan's bathroom. So beautiful. I really, really love this plant. Highly recommend, especially if you're somebody that already loves Bathlophyllums. This is a quite easy variety, especially as far as like variegation goes. Hi, I'm trying to say the outro and then I'll pet you, okay? Thank you so much for watching. It makes such a huge difference for me and my channel. And I really, really appreciate you taking the time. Again, please leave those comments, thumbs up or thumbs down this video, letting me know if this is something you like to watch or not. So then I know what kind of videos to make going forward, but that is it for this video. And I will see you my next one.